Let us now shift gears and look at something slightly deeper. We are now going to uh, observe how in an organization such positive and negative relationships can actually affect the organization. Let me now ask the big question, the main question in this chapter. So, here is the puzzle. Let me pose the big question as a puzzle. There are 30 people in an organization, 30. Out of these 30 people, since it is only 30 people, they know each other. So, it is what is called a complete graph. 30 people who know each other. Perfect. So, how many possible friendships are there here? We have discussed this before. It is roughly 30 square by 2. To be precise, it is 13 to 29 by 2, but, but throughout the discussion in this course, uh, a graph on n number of vertices, we assume, has roughly n square by 2 number of edges. So, with 30 people, you have 30 square by 2 number of friendships, which is 450, all right? So far, so good. Out of these 450 friendships that you are seeing, some of them can be positive, some of them can be negative. So, observe carefully. Here is a graph with 30 nodes, 30 people and roughly 450 friendships, which can be positive or negative. We also know the four cases. If there is a triangle here with a positive, positive, negative, it is it's unstable. It will move towards positive, positive, positive or positive, negative, negative. We have discussed this enough. All you should remember by looking at this uh, figure is that given a complete graph with 30 nodes and some random plus minus symbols on these edges in an organization, it moves towards stable state because every triangle here if you see may not always be stable. Okay. So, what is the big question? The big question is as it goes towards the stable state in an organization, how will the graph look like when there are no unstable triangles here? I repeat, out of 30 people, given 450 friendships with some random plus minus uh, symbols on the edges, which is friendship and uh, hatred. What is, what does one mean by this particular graph becoming stable? Alright, so now that is hard to analyze, that is even, uh, first of all one should get the question right. Once you get the question right, uh, we should make an attempt to answer it. Do you see the motivation behind this question? The motivation is, is if a bunch of people get together, there could be, there could be uh, friendships or hatred between them. If there are unstable triangles, it moves towards stable state. What exactly happens eventually? Let us consider a happy world. Assume 30 people have 450 friendships and all these friendships are positive never happens, <laughs> but let us assume this happens. All 30 people are friends with each other and they are all positive. Now, remember the quote that I started this chapter with? What is the quote? A bunch of apples you have and you just put one rotten apple there. One rotten apple spoils the barrel, right? So, this is just like this. You have milk, you put some a few drops of curd into it and the entire milk eventually turns into curd, right? Given this kind of a happy world with all relationships being positive, just try introducing one negative friendship. What will that result in? Observe, one negative friendship will result in a triad around it, at least one triad, right? One triangle one negative friendship and that results in Rama Krishna kind of a phenomena. And this one negative friendship 
ensures that one of their friendships becomes negative and this cascades. What do I mean by this cascades? One negative friendship results in another negative friendship results in another negative friendships so on and so forth. But wait a minute, will this result in all of them becoming negative? My curd milk example is not actually true here. Why? Introducing one negative friendship will result in negative friendships, but then if there is a triangle with three negative friendships, that will result in positive friendship. So, it is not really true that introducing one negative friendship results in all negative friendships. It may not really be true. Now, what else is, what else will happen here? I repeat the question, given 30 people, I am using 30 for example reasons, you can call it n, 100, 200, whatever, let us stick to 30. Given 30 people, 450 friendships, positive or negative, there are some unstable triangles here. It will reach stability slowly. How does the organization with all stable uh, triangles look like is the big question that we are going to answer now.